Hi, my name is Andy Shaw. I'm from Web User Magazine, and today uh, we're going to be taking a look at a website called DivShare. Uh, you'll find it at www.divshare.com. Now, DivShare is a uh, media sharing website, uh, so it's a little bit like Flickr. Uh, which of course you can use to share photos a little bit like YouTube which you can use to share videos um, a little bit like all of those things rolled into one uh, because it actually allows you to share photos and videos and mp3 music and documents all from the same site so the next time you've got some fantastic videos that you want to uh, show people of your summer holiday or whatever or of your kids mucking about um, or you've got some photos from the same from the same event uh, you can send people to one place to see all of your photos so it's really handy now the first thing you're going to have to do is log in to the site um, if you haven't already signed up for it you can sign up it's free uh, there are paid for options uh, that allow you to have more video uh, more space to uh, upload your video and your and your pictures and more bandwidth if you've got a lot of people coming to look at your photos you might need that but we're going to stick with the basic free account here because uh, it's very comprehensive and um, you don't need to start thinking about paying for it unless you uh, really start racking up the uh, the usage of it so uh, what you need to do first of all is sign up I've already done that uh, as I say it's free so there's nothing uh, nothing to stop you doing it uh, one of the things about DivShare is that there are quite a lot of uh, adverts we're using Firefox here so most of the pop-ups should be blocked anyway um, but if you see something coming up at the top of the screen up here saying that uh, there's a pop-up been blocked uh, you'll understand why uh, you know and that's fine a few adverts in exchange for a free service what's the problem uh, so let's log in And here we go. Now this area is called the dashboard. Um, you can see you can always get back to it by clicking on this link at the top here. But if we just scroll down, you'll see that I've already got some um, some files uploaded here, uh, a video, some photos. You can organise them in various different ways. For example, if you just want to see images, I could click on the images button, and that would show me just my images. If I just wanted to see my videos click on the videos button and there it is now you'll also see up in this area here that tells you exactly how much of your storage space and how much of your monthly download limit that you're using so you know if you are getting close um, to your limits uh, you'll know that you need to upgrade or maybe uh, not tell anyone about some new photos until the beginning of next month when uh, your download limit will be um, will be back to back to zero again so let's go through the process of, of uploading because it's really easy. We'll start off with a with a photo. Go to the top of the of the website, click on upload, and we get to the upload screen. Now on a very basic level, uh, you can simply find the photo you want. Um, I've got one I want to upload. It's on my desktop just here. I can type in a file description. Uh, it's a picture of my brother-in-law so I'll put Nick playing because that's what he's doing now you can also use this link to upload multiple files at once if that's what you need to do um, and you can also say how you want to share them you can organize them in a folder I've got some folders set up uh, this is a family photo so we'll put it in the family photo folder um, and also uh, we can send it to people by email if we want to let them know that it's going up I'm going to click on upload and it's quite a big a big photo so we'll just wait for that to upload there we go now the uh, the file is uploaded so if we want to go back and have a look at that let's flip over to the dashboard scroll down now if you click over the hover over the share 
option here it'll give you a, a selection of links which you can cut and paste into um, an email or something like that uh, that will link directly to um, various different types of uh, the image in different formats so you can have the full size image a mid size image here there's a thumbnail option uh, here's one that's automatically been formatted to go straight into a forum like the web user forums um, there's a direct link so for example if we wanted to look at that I could open up another tab paste the link in and that would give people a direct link straight to the photo here it comes so basically um, there's lots of lots of different options you've then got to share your uh, photos with other people works exactly the same way if you're uh, if you're doing video click to upload select a file here we go uh, there's a video that I've prepared earlier open that type in a description and again we'll put that in the family folder and upload it. Now this will take a while to upload because it's six megabytes of video. Now it will take a little bit of time um, for the site to convert the video into um, into a format that it can play. Uh, very similar to YouTube. Uh, if you've used YouTube you'll be familiar with with that, that you can't um, play your video straight away uh, so there you go you could uh, you could do some more uploading while you while you're waiting but if we head on back to the dashboard in a minute we should be able to start seeing the uh, seeing the video let's click on the family folder again because we know that we put it in there and there's the video let's see if we can play it yet Now, unlike YouTube, uh, there is the option of um, downloading the original, or uh, there's a code here that you can embed into your blog or whatever you, wherever you'd like to put it. Uh, again, po a link for posting it into a forum, or you can link to it directly, post it to your Facebook, whatever. Um, however, you like to share your files, um, DivShare gives you the option to do it, which is really handy. And there's the video. classic bit of family fun and that's that's really just about it um, as I say it's a, a handy site uh, particularly if you do have lots of different types of uh, of media to to uh, share I mean I personally love Flickr and YouTube but uh, this having the option of putting videos and pictures in the same place is just uh, an absolutely great option uh, for those with with lots of different things going on this was Andy Shaw from web user magazine talking about divshare.com thanks for listening